VFX Blender here today and we're going to learn how to animate a gear and allow it to interact with another gear. This is the basics of animation and uh, today we're going to cover you know um, how to model a gear, how to animate it, and how to um, add a metallic material to the object. Um, so let's start by um, deleting the cube, hit delete and then hit shift A and go to uh, Taurus and we're going to add some teeth to the gear so go to edit mode and if you right click on your mouse uh, it's going to do a dot but you see uh, we uh, want to have the face so uh, click on the face button and uh, if you hit shift it's going to select more than one uh, face so if you hit shift and right click it's going to allow you to select more than one face. Now, whenever you're moving around, um, you can let go of the shift button, but before you uh, tap on the face, you must hit shift down again. So shift, uh, right click. Shift, right click. And just we're just going to do this around the cube. Okay, we're getting close to being done. Mm. Oops. Oh yeah, that's one thing I was about to mention. If you um, if you click on something that you did not want to select, uh, if you uh, hit shift and right click on it, you will uh, deselect it. So uh, that's probably helpful. Okay, and we are done. So we have selected all of the faces that we need to select on the gear. And uh, now this is a very important part. Um, hit E, and then left click on your mouse. And this is going to uh, extrude an extra face. And then hit S, and kind of like pull it out so that face can kind of pop out of that area and it's going to create um, the teeth of the uh, gear. So now go to object mode and um, we're going to get the size tool and we are going to um, kind of flatten the gear. Okay, now that we've done that go to edit mode again and select that face right there and um, look at the top of the gear like so and then hit B and then left click on your mouse and click and drag and select this whole top area up here. Okay, so now uh, hit E and uh, bring it up on the Z axis. And we have officially uh, modeled our gear. And uh, you can kind of size the gear and make it um, how you want it, you know, small or big, you know. Um, and that looks good to me. And now we are ready to uh, add another gear. So all we have to do is just uh, to add another gear is hit Shift D, and then left click, and then get our location arrow tool, and uh, on the right arrow, um, bring it to the right. Okay. Now uh, select um, this gear, and we're ready to start animating. Uh, so see this toolbar right here. We're gonna click on animation, and we're gonna since we want the uh, the gear to rotate. Whenever we hit insert keyframe, we're gonna click on rotation, and make sure you're on frame one. Uh, so on frame one, we're gonna click keyframe rotation, and then we're gonna go all the way to frame 250, and we're gonna get our uh, rotation tool, and we're gonna rotate it 360 degrees. And okay, and make sure we're on frame 250 and insert rotation. Okay, so now we have um, created the movement for the gear. It's going to create this cool little animation. Okay, now we need to um, make the animation for the next gear. So uh, select the other gear. And before we animate that, um, we need to look at which way this gear is spinning. So if you look at it, it's spinning this way. So that means this gear will have to spin this way. 
Um, okay, so on frame one, we want to insert rotation. And at frame 250, um, we are going to uh, rotate it 360 degrees. We're going to rotate it this way. And to about right there. That looks good. We're going to hit insert rotation. Okay, so um, let's see if this works. I'm going to back it up to frame one and hit play. Okay, so um, it looks like it's working. And uh, now we have completed our animation. So um, we are ready to uh, add the material for our uh, object, which is uh, this gear right here. So go to your material thing and uh, hit new. And one thing I forgot to mention was we don't need to have it in the blender render. We need to have it in cycles render. And, uh, and this whole area right here changes then. And uh, we're going to click on preview. And then we're going to click use node. And I'm going to click on, um, uh, let's see here mitts shader and I'm going to bring the rendered thing on so we can kinda of see what's happening I'm gonna pause the video okay so this is black because we haven't added a uh, texture not a texture but a material setting so shade or excuse me a shader we haven't added a shader so see where it says none right there we are going to um, add a uh, anisotropic BSDF. Yes, I said the word right. And that's going to give it a metallic look. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to add a ambient occlusion. And we're going to kind of bring the darkness kind of down the ambient conclusion. Occlusion. And then we're going to kind of bring this a little bit this way on the fact okay so that's looking like a metallic object okay and now we're gonna do the same um, material setup on this gear so we're gonna go to material we're gonna hit new and then we're going to uh, hit mitts shader and then we're gonna where the shader says none we're gonna click um, and it is so tropic uh, BSDF and then we're gonna hit shader none and we're gonna add ambient occlusion and we're gonna bring down the color to where it's kinda gray and um, then we're gonna bring the fact to where it's around 30 in the 30 area okay so let's see if these gears look alike okay it's looking pretty good um, now what we need to do is change the world setting. So uh, go to the world and bring the color to where it's white. Okay, so uh, we have added the material for um, these gears. Um, and now we are ready to render the animation. Um, so um, go to solid. And um, I'm going to um, go hit uh, numpad 0 and uh, then I'm gonna hit uh, N and I'm going to uh, click on uh, lock camera to view and what that's going to do is whenever I, I rotate in the 3d view it, it's going to move the camera with uh, my cursor which is pretty cool and I think that's a cool angle right there and uh, now we're gonna um, unlock the camera to the view and have that right there and um, now we're gonna go to we're gonna hit in to kind of remove that toolbar get some room we're gonna bring this menu out and we are gonna bring this to a hundred percent the resolution <clears throat> excuse me and the frame rate uh, normally animations are at 30 frames per second well I, no actually that's not true normally they're actually at 24 frames per second excuse me um, and TMP um, we're gonna put that in desktop and so um, we're, we're not gonna make this a PNG like an image sequence I'm gonna make this h.264 
and the encoding I'm going to make it an MPEG-4. I really like MPEG-4. Um, and we don't really need an audio codec because there's no audio uh, to begin with. So um, let me look at the camera one more time. And let me look at the uh, rendered version. Okay, so uh, we are ready to begin the, um, the animation. So click on render and hit render animation. And, um, yeah, that, that, ooh, that's looking pretty good right there. Um, got some, like, light from the bottom coming on the top. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this, this looks nice. So, uh, yeah, I, th I feel like this is going to turn out really well. And, um, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you, um, the end result. Please like and subscribe. So thank you for watching.